Hello, uh, welcome to a quick live stream. Finally, USB external drive on the SNES Mini Classic. Um, long story, a very difficult, very, very difficult lunch hours, breaks, uh, evenings, uh, bad instructions, but you know, all in all, it's working exactly as it should. So, what I'm going to show you is uh, my SNES Classic down here. In fact, I'll tell you what, let me turn the lights on so you can see a little bit better. So what I've got is I've got a device plugged into the back, which is like a USB on the go. Um, and I'll, I'll take it out. So you can see it's my micro USB plugged into this uh, USB on the go uh, little device. And that plugs uh, into the back of the SNES Mini. My apologies for camera work. I'm, uh, I'm doing all this handheld, obviously. So let's have a look what happens. It's all been flashed. It's all working. I just want to show you the outcome. Um, there's the television. So while you boot it, turn on. Uh, it doesn't just go black and then come on. It actually has a boot screen. Knock, knock. Hack chi and Mad Monkey and when it boots it just looks normal because I've got the USB here so if you, if you boot it normally it's right there everything's fine um, you know you've got your precious game saves if you delete your wife will kill you um, you know everything's there in fact hopefully I've done this right my F0 saves are there I hope I hope what was F0 Thank you. So yeah, everything's fine. Everything's there. It's uh, it is running Hackchi, but it's running the USB custom version of Hackchi. So you go in here. It's uh, hit the right thing. You see, it's the same thing. It's been modded. It says it's been modded, which is absolutely fine. So now what I'm going to do. Um, and again, I, I could have left uh, this customized. I could have left it with NES games, Mega Drive games in there, whatever. I just chose to make it look as basic as possible because, after all, this is what's going to contain the magic. At the moment, this is just plain vanilla SNES Mini. You wouldn't know. You know, that's how I want it. I want it to look like the SNES Mini until we insert this. So now, obviously, I'm going to have to turn this off. Now, what I'm suspecting happens is it actually boots to this because once I put this in, and again, I'll just turn it round. As you can see, there's power coming in, that's why it just lights up for a second. So now when I turn it on, again, I think, I think what I might do is I might get a smaller USB stick. Um, but there you go, it's on now. So let's have a look what happens. So we're going to get the usual boot. Knock knock, Hackchi, Mad Monkey, props. But this time, instead of showing you the SNES Classic 21 games, it genuinely is getting these games off the USB stick, which is absolutely mad. Now, I've already booted this and I've already saved. So your saves go onto the USB as well, which is even better. Now, <laughs> The real problem right now is the way that this has all been done uh, by the guys who have, who have implemented it. You don't use the Hackchi user interface to load more games on. You simply drag and drop them onto the USB drive, which I guess you're going, yeah, that's excellent. But you've got to get the configuration files right. There's a, a .desktop file in each folder. And uh, you have to make sure that that has the cor correct uh, paths uh, and so on and so forth. But once you've done it once, you know, you might as well do it three times. Three games. So here we go. Just show you what's going on. ActRaiser. USB. Let me tell you that I did actually make sure that this should run uh, Mega Drive games and other emulators as well. There we go, so I'm just gonna down and start, oh, sorry, down and select to get back. So even that's working as well. 
let's go into our type and once again down and select back out and now into uh, super tennis I guess one thing I haven't tried come on there we go I haven't tried checking if what I do here is also mirrored when the USB is out so let me come out of that just go back into uh, there we go, I've already started that one. So. so yeah, it works here in USB. But what happens when I turn this off? I'll just quickly take out that USB once the light's out. I don't really want to be removing this too much. I might get an extension so I can plug in and out without damaging the little adapter. It was only three pounds. It's not going to cost a lot, but I just don't want to put any pressure on the SNES motherboard. I had a close, uh, a close shave or a scare last night. So there we go. If I start one of these now, will it start with the curtains? No. So it's almost as if it, uh, it keeps them separate, which I guess could be cool. Let's try one more game just to make sure. Yep, there's no red curtains at the side. Just check up here. Yeah, that's how it was. So again, I'm just I'm just finding out a little bit more. But yeah, the, the configuration file took me a while to, to perfect. The icons appeared, but I kept getting uh, some C7 errors. So it's almost, I mean, it definitely isn't happening like this, but it is almost, yeah, like there are separate settings for booting from USB. Anyway, just a quick vid. Um, I'm sure uh, you'll have questions. Um, but whether or not I can answer them, I don't know. Um, I do hope that uh, Cluster M who's a great guy. I do hope he, he, he finds time to actually include this in Hackchi for those who really need a user interface. But for me, I think I'm just going to be happy uh, at this time adding folders and to the USB and, and just putting games on there. The games can't be zipped. They can't be a 7Z file. Um, they've got to be the SF ROM file. That was the first problem I had. The second one, obviously, uh, I've explained about these, these uh, custom... Uh, the, the desktop dot desktop files extensions um the configuration inside those the paths aren't always aren't always right you've got to make sure you get the right path once you do you just repeat the same over and over and over for every game you put on there so i mean it's going to take an hour and i should probably have maybe 20 30 games on there uh, back to where i would have been um but yeah why not give it a go gba temp thank you very much to uh the guys on there that were helping out Shout out to Dan the Man, Reddit, thank you. Uh, a lot of good help on there. And um, as well, there's a couple of other people who are actually making this happen. Mad Monkey's making it happen. Cluster M's making it happen. You know, I could name drop all day. I don't know these people personally. I just want to say thank you to you guys. Um, you're really doing a great job. You're really making this piece of hardware sing. You know, <laughs> we'd be stuck with 21 games if it weren't for you guys. Thank you very much. Uh, enjoy. Bye.